Hey everyone, it's War Torn Future here coming at you with another uh, Total War Warhammer Battles series. And this time it's the third battle for the Silver Road province at the Pillage of Grugany. Now this was the battle I fought um, after the previous two against the remnants of uh, Grimgore Ironhide's uh, Wog army and his own personal uh, full-size army stack. Luckily, I had my uh, Grand Army positioned just right to where I could get reinforcements into the battle quick. They're in the same situation, so we're about on equal terms here. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to move my artillery into position through these woods. It's never good. Um, so, again, with the dwarves, you always have really stout lines, but maneuverability, garbage. Um... These guys are all about shorter than me, which is pretty damn short. So, obviously not going to be able to maneuver super well. And a lot of times it's better to sit and wait, uh, especially when you're out of position like my current reinforcing army is, um, for them to kind of mass and attack you. The AI here is pretty good in that sense, as in a lot of the old Total Wars, if you launch the attack, they would not, uh, the enemy wouldn't move until you got really close to them, obviously, and then they would attack, which is a smart thing to do. But um, in this, obviously, once you bring your guns into position, artillery, uh, siege weaponry, they're going to start moving, because particularly dwarf artillery, dwarf siege weaponry it's going to chew them up and even then once you've done that you march your slow moving slow moving stunties across the battlefield it's going to uh, you're going to shatter them anyway so the ai is good in that sense where it'll group together and then it'll move out towards you um and green skins are still no joke in the sense that with their board boys and their big ends and particularly these annoying siege weapons over here the doom divers this these guys are gold rated which is means they're never gonna miss uh, you also can't get too uh, complacent uh, you have to counter battery fire you have to focus on their cavalry uh, or you know you're gonna get chewed up and uh, so we're going to see what happens here. Let's fast forward this just a bit. Let everyone get into position here. Nice square frontage. Yeah, there we go. Here comes the line, battle lines. And you see over here, I start to uh, kind of maneuver my army out uh, in the swinging gate. Since they're mainly positioned over here. So I form a battle line in front of my siege equipment with all my ranged warriors out in front of it. For one, this uh, gets rid of any issues you might have with the terrain. A lot of times, especially thunders, won't fire uh, unless they have a perfectly good line of sight. So you always want to make sure you got that going. And then, of course, you want to get your artillery in range as soon as possible. Uh, and as you can see here, the enemy is starting to advance. So. We have our swinging gate here, got our melee uh, fighters on the right flank with our lords anchoring the center, got our range guys on the left, so there goes the starting artillery barrage. Uh, and I haven't gotten really good at microing my artillery, I need to do that and do the manual aiming because I should be aiming right around here and just totally chewing up that center line. Um, Another thing you could do is you could switch artillery to just fire at the orc war boss and basically annihilate their leadership early on. But uh, let's just uh, watch the ensuing carnage. So now they funnel themselves into the valley right here, and uh, which is perfect for our range guys who just utterly destroy them. You got to give this dude credit. He's he's still going. He ain't scared. And this is when the uh, beauty of uh, dwarven-made muzzleloaders comes into effect. It's half his health gone right there in one salvo. And then this is when I start to swing the gate in on them. Because right, they're saying, all right, these uh, range fighters are the biggest threat. They're doing the most damage. Yeah, no problem, bro. 
trade you that for your flanks. Of course, there's Thorgrim Grudge Bearer going to town. And of course, our range guys are no slouches in melee either, so whenever the need arises, just, you know, switch them over to melee, and they're basically dwarven warriors anyway. Uh, but as you can see, I got them pretty, pretty locked down here right now. And so I tell a couple of my units to bring out the axes and just get in there. And all the while, the artillery's going, battering any guys that are just going to be sitting out here thinking they can do whatever they want, or targeting particularly weak units to shatter them. And as I've stated in previous videos, you want to use that artillery to hound any guys that are retreating, mainly because it keeps their morale low so that they continue to get farther from the battle. But also, dwarves have shit mobility. I mean, it's it's absolute garbage. So you're not going to catch, you know, never going to catch these guys. So you have to use your ranged weaponry for that. <clears throat> you can see, these, these guys are not faring well against those quarrelers on the ridge there. It, remember that if you have used your range guys to go into melee for whatever reason, as soon as the enemy starts to break and retreat like this, just switch them. I obviously uh, lost control of these guys right here and forgot to switch them early on, but as you can see, we do pretty short work of retreating units. Yeah, they're, they're gone. But, uh, yeah, that's that's almost the battle right there. Now, it, you'll see that some of these enemies turn and regroup. And this is why you want to kind of keep harassing them with uh, your melee uh, and your ranged fighters. Though, granted, you're going to have a really difficult time catching anything. You can see here I take casualties from these Doom Divers. They are, uh, without a doubt, some of the most annoying artillery in the game because... The AI already can basically hit you spot on, but then it's also max experience, so it's never going to miss. It's always hilarious, too, to watch them just collide in with your unit. Oh, there we go. I had the sense to switch them to range. And there goes some uh, cannon rounds. Always love seeing the cannon rounds just bounce through them and land somewhere else. But yeah, that was the third battle, and this was pivotal in my campaign uh, to shattering the Greenskin tribes early on because they kind of ran roughshod through my territory, um, but I broke them in the Silver Road province and was able to uh, turn the tide and basically take over all the Badlands. Um, and a lot of that had to do with knocking out Grimgore's uh, own uh, doom stack and his uh, wog stack. Here you go. See my poor dude over here trying to catch a unit. Well, trying to catch their uh, goblin war boss. It's not going to happen. However, these guys get line of sight. They might be able to open fire. Oh, no, they're in melee. See? So I'm saying micro, everybody. Gotta be on top of your micro. All the while, my artillery's going. Trying to get whoever they can get. And that's game. So, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Also, I uh, have an Amber Alert for you. Uh, Dexter Weeks, you have not played any video games in over four years. It's really sad. Your Steam account says last on something ridiculous like 1400 days ago so get your shit together and get back into gaming all right everyone that's war torn future with another battles